No, oh, work's biggest race of the season. Here, XXC, three mile, five foot on grade three handicap. As the classic chase. And at the top, we've got the teacher. Oh, Joshua Sutherland, Target, Craig Beckwith, Battle Thralls, and Fire Lord for Leon Van Rensburg, Tuxford, Darren Thompson, Place the Duchess, Alex Cherry, Sweet Women, David Hooley, Cincy Unique, Finney Gerard, Finding Alice Martin Little, Watchtower, Graham Clutterbuck, River Tarquin, John Morgan, Ideal Art, David Hooley, Langley Street, Graham Clutterbuck, Alexandra Cornwall, or Padraig Hogan, Billished, Chatter for Vinnie Gerard, Windmill Rise, Stu Gray, Velvet Sky for Craig Beckwith, Agent of the Free, Padre Hogan, Tiama Vonas for Derek Hinton, and Marathon Messiah for Alex Cherry. A field of 20. Big field for this. And away they go. It's always a big field for this one. Not that many long distance races this week. And two complete circuits of the Warwick track to be negotiated. And River Tarquin for John Morgan. Probably one of John Morgan's front runners. And it's quickly gone six lengths clear of the rest of them. Not hanging about will make this a stiff test. As the rain is coming down and we'll be starting to get into the ground as well. The Tarquin leads from Place of Duchess second. And Watchtower is third. And the teacher is fourth. If Tiama Vonas on the outside in fifth. Agent of the Free on that one's inside. Looking towards the back, sweet women is just the back marker. As they finally get to the first of the 20 fences, which they all get to the other side of without too much drama. Uh, River Tarquin is bowling along in front. Oh, place the Duchess in second. The teacher on the rail is third. Between the two of those is Watchtower. And Battle Thralls and Agent of the Free. The Grey Finding Alice is next. Tuxford on the inside. It's been chased by a windmill rise, billished chatter on its outside, and then Langley Streak. The Fire Lord close up. Only been out once this season, Fire Lord. That was a win. They get over the second. A long run to the second as well. They're all over it okay, although Alexandra Cornwall was a little bit messy at the back. They're well strung out already as they take the first of the ditches. All stream over it okay with probably 25 lengths first to last already. And it's River Tarquin who's got a six length lead or so to Watchtower in second. Place the Duchess is in third and then the teacher is fourth. Two lengths then back to Battle Thralls as they take the fourth. The leader really attacking the fences and coming out of them really quickly. Let's see if he does it again this time. That was a bit more of a more Normal type of judgmental manners are four is Darren Thompson's again. Tuxford's gone. I think that's the third four I've commentated on today for Darren Thompson. But it's River Tarquin who leads into the next. From Watchtower in second, the teacher is third. And place the Duchess is fourth. And agent of the three, then battle thralls. And the grey finding Alice. And there's a gap of a couple of lengths to the rest of them. are headed by Billished Chatter and Sweet Women. And Target on the outside of Langley Streak with Windmill Rise on the inside and then Fire Lord and Tiama Vonas with Tinsy Unique after that one as they get to another ditch. We'll safely over that one with Marathon Messiah now being relegated to the back marker spot as the field are just not quite as strung out as they were a few fences ago over this eighth. We'll safely over the eighth. With River Tarquin continuing to lead. We'll safely over the ninth as well. River Tarquin then will come up past the stand. And they clearly take this fence that'll be the last on the next circuit. Looks like they all successfully get over. So the race up the hill then. They'll pass the winning post, pass the enclosures, and then swing out left handed. And it's River Tarquin who's going to take them past the post in the lead. So River Tarquin in front, then place the distance is second, and Watchtower is third. Then the teacher is four, and agent of the three is five, and then Battle Thralls is six, and final is seven, and final Lord is eight. Target is nine, then Langley Street ten, and then Sweet Women and Billish Chatter after that one. Marathon Messiah continuing to be the back marker. And it's River Tarquin with John Morgan. 
clear by three or four lengths to watch down for Graham Clutterbuck second. Place the Duchess for Alex Cherry's third. And Joshua Sutherland as the teacher is fourth. And there's a line of three of them. Battle full to Leon Van Rensburg on the inside. The grey finding Alice between the well between that one and Agent of the Free, who's in the yellow jacket for Padre Hogan. Closest to us of that little group. Gap of two lengths then. Back to Fire Lord. And Langley Street, the purple jacketed sweet woman for David Hooley, is creeping closer up the inside. And Craig Beckwith pair running together. Target and Velvet Sky. The Mill Rice just being hurried along. Alexandra Cornwall is getting a little bit closer. The River Tarquin has been in the lead all the way. It's over the 12th from Place of the Duchess and Watchtower. And finding Alice and Battle Thralls and the teacher. So only lost the one. So they come inside the final mile and take this next ditch. And we'll safely over that one with Sensi Unique, the new back marker. River Tarquin almost being joined there by Place the Duchess, but the chalk is just shaking it up to make sure he keeps the lead. Needs by about a length in defence 14. On place the Duchess second, the teacher is third, Watchtower is fourth, finding unless the grey is fifth. Then Agent of the Free. Langley Streak is the one who's making good ground. So to Fire Lord moving ominously through the pack as well. They're over the 15th. It's got five more to take. And I think River Tarquin's kicked on for home here. He's suddenly gone three clear again as he gets over the fifth for a moment. Finding Alice has gone. The local horse has hit that one hard. That's something she does a lot. Did it again last week. And gets rid of the jockey. But it's River Tarquin in front from Langley Streak in second. And Langley Streak's come through to challenge. Then back in third is the teacher. Watchtower is in fourth. Then place the Duchess and agent of the free battle. Thralls is after that one. Velvet Sky is trying to run on as well. And they're coming down towards the final four then now. And it's Langley Streak in the lead over the final ditch. From in second place, River Tarquin. Then comes the teacher. Then Watchtower. Place the Duchess is after that one. Alexander Cornwall and agent of the free are trying to run on as well. Also coming through now with a bit of a run is ideal art but they've still got three to take this is the third last and it's the teacher who landed in the lead the teacher's gone on from river tarquin in second watchtower is in third then place the duchess agent of the fire is next langley streaks drop right out of it over the second last they go and the teacher landed in front the teacher from watchtower looks a big danger on the outside one pace now river tarquin then replace the duchess between these as they come to the final fence and it's watchtower looks the strongest on the outside lands just about in front from in second place the teacher and it's watchtower who's getting a lot of weight and pulls away up the hill and um, Watchtower is going to take it it's going to be quite close for a second it's just the teacher from River Tark when then place the Duchess on the alarm Billy Chatter was doing his best work at the end agent of the three was after that then Sweet Women and all the way back to the bitterly disappointing Fire Lord and Watchtower takes it for Graham Clutterbuck he was getting a ton of weight from the runner up Indeed, he was Watchtower for Graham Clutterbuck, the winner. The teacher for Joshua Sutherland ran a big race in second. River Tarquin, third for John Morgan. Place the Duchess, Alex Cherry was fourth. And Ideal Art for David Hooley was fifth.